Hello everybody, I'm Omega Hermit, and this is 7 Days to Die. We're starting a brand new multiplayer series with Penguin and Seabass. It is the morning of day one. As usual, it's a little bit later in the morning because we have to get everybody connected to the game. We are on a Navis game map. We've got a few mods installed, just a couple vehicle mods, and uh, vanilla firearms extended. Stuff like that, nothing really game changing, just extra content mods. And yeah, we are level 2 already, just from running around. And obviously doing the uh, opening quest line. We got Penguin in. We got Bass in. We got some kills going. We got no deaths yet. Bass has terrible ping for a second there. I don't know what that's about. Get away from me. But yeah. We're going to jump into chat with Penguin and Seabass. And we... Oh god, that was horrible. Wow. Nobody saw that. Give me... Can I have my spirit back? Thank you, please. You know what? Just for that. Not even dead. Woof. Stab. Stab. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna jump back into chat with Penguin and Seabass. Knock out a quest, to hopefully today, and find a base location to start building. Hello! Hello. Just did the intro. Oh. Ah, shit! Fuck off, Maul. Sneaky little fucker. Squash. Don't start it all in one place. Oh. Definitely some hill action going on around here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please have vitamins. Nope. Please have vitamins. It's because I have herbal antibiotics and painkillers and everything but like. Everything but the thing I need. Don't matter, this. Kinda be nice if they gave you more than just the one fucking item. Like if I was fatigued, I could drink this coffee and feel less fatigued. Yeah, even if it was a temporary relief from it, I think it'd be cool. Or just, you know, take 30 minutes out of the en enormous two-day debuff and be like, it's cool, bro, it's what you want. Jeez, Mo, could you die? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, big mama. Brass and after you make the chest, like every time, please have smart clean. Yeah, anything that would move brass automatically to the back of the queue, I would absolutely play with. Hi there, guy. You sure you want to do this? I don't think you want to. Toilet pistol, here we come. Didn't work that time. I did just get some vitamins, though, Bass. Cool. I have some as well. I mean, I could throw them to you. It's awesome. You guys get the one thing I need, I got everything else. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Love yeah, you. I would have much preferred to have a painkiller, to be honest with you. That was another fake, fake wall. That's two. And I just heard landmines exploding. Penguin. I mean, way away from you guys. No, give me my scroll wheel. I want to lock the chest. Am I being retarded? Do you not hold B on the chest to bring up the wheel and lock it? Well, as far as I know, you do, yeah. Okay, well, if you guys find my chest, I'm taking anything out of it. Locked, but not officially. Roger. Oh, 
look like you know. yeah, you barely work. Wait, whose chest is this? Did anybody else put a chest down? I have a chest down by the cell tower building. I thought it was locked, maybe it's not. Yeah, no, I just opened it looking at something now. You got a security camera, right? Yeah. yeah. I think chest your little buddy. It's okay. I'm pretty sure we could do this on the honor system. Can we though? <laughs> <laughs> this is coming from the guy that steals everybody's fucking vehicles when they're unlocked. I only move them around a little bit for fun. <laughs> yeah, you start doing that in my inventory, I'm gonna have a fucking coronary. Dude, I was just watching, uh... So Hermitcraft Season 7, they, uh, they did the thing, they got the shopping district, you know, they're playing Minecraft. And, uh, I don't know if you guys ever heard of Etho, but he opened up Shady E's E's. He was like, enter a diamond block with your name on it, you know, and I'm gonna do a drawing, and you'll get a, a lifetime supply of free glass. You know? <laughs> just took the fucking diamond blocks, didn't he? No, no, no. Oh. He, he, he set it up and he actually randomized, you know, he built a little thing and randomized it, put in like, you know, when I get a wooden sword, you know, like, that's the end of the drawing, but I'm going to draw until I get a wooden sword. Well, we got like nine or eight people out of eleven. He's like, fuck, I'm just going to give everybody this free glass thing. And he's sitting there looking at it and he's like, okay, you've got the blocks. He's like, I'm going to make it a paint. And then he dyed them light gray, so they, they're the same exact color as the background. <laughs> and your inventory. <laughs> Relabel them. <laughs> like, uh, here's your free glass or some shit, dude, you know? And it was, just, it was hilarious, because he went over to their bases and put it in all the spots in their chests. Dick move. Yeah, but it was Super great. dick move, but also hilarious. i seen the episode from his perspective, but so- Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, dude. Not my day. Uh... But somebody compiled a video of, like, him doing the thing, and then everybody else that he did it to, like, their reactions, their perspective on it. And some of the people, man, like, you can't see it, so they're trying to, like, shift click into their chest, you know? And, like, they're like, oh, what the fuck? Like, my shift key's broken. <laughs> and they go out of the chest, they're, like, crouching, crouching. Oh, where's here? You can't put anything in here. And then it dawns on them, and they're like, no. Is it just this chest? No, no, it's all the chests. Oh shit, there's a guy up here. No, don't touch. That is the exact kind of troll fucking shit that makes Minecraft seem just hilarious. Yeah. Mine fucked the shit out of him, that's what they did. Oh, uh, dude. Some, yeah, the one guy was in a stream, man. He's like, I don't know what's going on. You can see him exit, go log back in and shit. He's like, looking at his settings like there's some weird new thing. And I'm like, oh man. <laughs> How many people are watching you struggle bus with this and actually knew and just didn't tell you, you know? That's the real that's tech where, move. That's where I think being a streamer would be a little different than YouTube is, you know? Oh, if you were going to go professional with the YouTube, I would definitely be aiming to stream as well. Yeah, you may as well double up, but... Well, I mean, I think it'd just be fun. I don't know if you'd be... It would depend on your audience. Like, you guys have told me Renekton's guys sometimes are just assholes, so... Point this because of the trolls that are in the population. Which is all it is. Just go sit in Tyler 1's freaking chat in his stream. It's absurd the amount of stuff that comes out of those guys' mouth. Yeah. And Tyler doesn't even engage. They troll on SRO because of the fact that SRO actually engages with everybody that's watching. If by engage you mean boots them from chat permanently, yes. <laughs> oh, when he tells you to shut the hell up and you keep going, yeah, I would boot you too. Hey man, don't fuck with the guy with the microphone. One. Yeah, I mean, if you want to get up in front of a million people and fucking play a game, kind of asking for it. I mean, it's not necessary, but... Yeah, I mean, you definitely open yourself up to that sort of situation, but the flip side is you are the guy with the power, so... Yeah, guy's being a douchebag and telling him to stop and he doesn't stop. Righteous kick. Yep. More power to you. I guess it would depend on the troll. No, I mean if you're if you're a streamer and you tell a guy to stop what he's doing in chat and he doesn't stop, that's that's the end of that. Yeah, like there's a couple female streamers that I've chimed in on and looked at him and 
Yeah, but you have. <laughs> I was just gonna say that was the worst thing you could have ever said. Yeah, ever whatever. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking going out with that steering chick. I think or living with her. She's a streamer, but like I don't know. I don't watch a lot of streamers, but there's a difference between having big boobs and dealing with it, and you clearly have your tits on. Uh huh. And I'm too old to fucking not recognize the difference. Dude, the truck is like on a hill. Uh -huh. I think like a house is right next to her. Dude, uh -huh. there is. It's a weird spawn geographically. But it's Jen. Like, I, I'm not gonna complain. I like Jen. Uh -huh. yeah, right. She's one of the yeah. best traders out of all of them. Jen uses her body to sell us shit. Come on. <laughs> well, I mean, she is the only one around. This is also true. I'm taking this junkyard right now. I like Jen because she's the only trailer that's not a complete fucking asshole all the time. Yep. Come on, fuck fucks. Go. Yeah. Did she have any functional workstations in here, Penguin? No. Can craft a black strap coffee. Yes, please. May I see your inventory? A workbench for 4000 Seems worth it. Bicycle chassis. Schematic. Do you actually have to make buckshot in the fucking station? Or I can just craft it. Uh, I think you have to forge it. Buckshot? No, you should be able to do it right in your inventory. It's got a little anvil with its schematic. Then they might have changed that? I'm pretty sure you were able to do that. Uh, I'm pretty sure. You can make blunderbuss ammo in your inventory, but not buckshot. Oh, no. that's actually what I've done anyways. Yeah, you can make blunderbuss ammo in your inventory. Yeah. I typed them around for a minute. Well, they look identical, so. Yeah. I hate the supplies and I cleared it all, so it's confusing and annoying. <laughs> I hate that when I power attack a zombie that's laying down, they automatically get to stand up. So it's right there. How the fuck? You can almost do this without getting cheaty with frames, but I feel like you're dumb if you're gonna cheat some of these fronts. It's like the fall damage broken rate situation in this game does not compromise No, it's not even really worth risking. No, no, especially if you're like trying to accomplish anything at all. I have a military zombie stuck in a bridge right now. God I hope I'm recording this. This actually <laughs> Oh, there's... I am. Fantastic. He's, like, literally stuck, and he's pivoting around when he's looking at me. It's fantastic. Let's see if I can put you out of your misery, buddy. Probably not. You're wearing a military armor, armor and I'm hitting you with a stick. <laughs> well, the game just tried to auto-level him out. Damn, somebody hit a blunder bus onto somebody. Yeah, it was me trying to kill the military zombie. I'm really bad at throwing spears now. I used to be good at it. Yeah, how I feel about bows right now. Oh, hey there, guy. Uh, what's up? Old sham sandwich. Sham, <laughs> old sham sandwich. <laughs> mash, 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 mash. It's not buff shot, it's what is it? Blunder bus ammo. So would the noble wooden chest have more stuff? I'm not building just okay, right. You need nails for that. I had nails, that's why I said I build it. Just to see. Hello. Yeah, I don't know, they were smaller before. 
be about to find out. It's about to go down. Loot bag. Let's go. I'm gonna play this game before I join your guys' server, because right? I'm expecting that to be like difficult at this point. No, we're on day one. Yeah. Day one. Yeah. Brand new game. Oh. Yep, yep. Six. That's why it's actually ideal you uh, decided to go ahead and do that today. <laughs> join a game. Okay. They're the exact same size as a normal chest, so you just waste nails, that's all it is. Mom, is it outside the fucking wall? If the fucking thing is outside the wall, I'm gonna lose my shit. Is it uh, showing that it's up? You should go check on no, top of the no, other No, there's a, there's a fucking garage over here I didn't know about. Oh. Fucking gorgeous. Huh? Somebody just got blown up. And again. Campfire down. Come on. Come on, it popped up. Give it to me. Come on! You piece of shit. Empty. Oh, uh, hey, Wizzy, before you actually get in the game, what is your uh, Steam name? Are you okay with that being recorded? Uh, I was gonna make a new name here, uh, profile, whatever. Okay. Just question. I am recording the service going. Yep. Yep. Why do you get the fuck in this one? Okay, I'm not gonna spend too much time creating my guy here. Gotta love that. May as well. That's permanent. No, it's really not. <laughs> it randomized it. Randomized it. Nice. I think you actually create a guy. I think they have just self generated ones you could edit how they look. Uh, I was trying start to get what I had to make. <laughs> no. Uh, how do I find you guys' server now? Uh, I'm a hosting, so we'll have to hook up on the friends pages. Yup. Yeah. I'll drop some stuff in this board. Come on down, buddy boy. You're gonna climb the ladder down, facing away from it, and walking. That's They're impressive. Oh you no, know, man, zombies are like telekinetic. That's, that was impressive. This time? What the fuck? Where is this goddamn box, dude? It's there? How do I even get there, game? What the fuck is this? Hmm, gain 5% more XP from kills at night. He is ability block. What the hell? Don't give me anything, Jen. Just selling you some shit. Sounds like you're having a rough time, Bass. A little bit, man. A little bit. Don't quite, uh... Where are you at, Bass? 600 away. Get this. Are you at the very top of where the main loot is? It's, not, it's in the fucking ground, dude. It's like it's buried under the fucking thing. I don't- I've never seen it like this before. I almost feel like this is not where the thing is. Like, I wanna dig down here and just be like, huh, surprise! I surprise, motherfucker. Right. Cheese fries, motherfucker! I'm not punching through a thousand durable like, why? I'm gonna eat my ass all the Right now. A thousand's a lot. Yeah, it's been much. That's a lot. For a human? Oh, good. Some troll hit a pile of food under the bridge. Ah, you fucking dick. I fucking saw your ass coming to. Knock you down into some barbed wire. You can suck on that. Actually, it worked pretty ridiculously well. Oh, that's adorable. That is adorable. Yeah, you can eat my ass. Man. I hate you find it. it? Yeah, it's just a wooden panel on the back. You have to chop off. I didn't have to go anywhere inside the POI at all. At least you found it. Yup. 
something about that big yellow explanation was like, really. Toilet pistol! Yes! Lucky bitch. Right. Oh, does he need mods too, by the way? I don't know. You can find out today. Yep. Cool, cool. Learn to die! Did we get a place to hide tonight? Yep, Ooh, I do. Cool. would be a military guy. Booker? Oh. Oh shit, there's a reinforced chest in here. Ooh, more blendy boys. That tastes really good. Yeah. Sounded really good too. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to track that female audience. Yeah, I don't think that's how you do that. Mm -mm. That one never gets swept left on Tinder. Dusters. It might have stolen wood. I kind of forgot where I left my chest in now. I marked mine. No one was funny. Mine's I'm pretty sure off the corner of the trader. Probably. That's where you generally leave them. See, he's the final <laughs> one of the traitors. This is a fact. He does leave them there. <laughs> Real question is, are there any pigs at the farm? I mean, that kick-ass fucking park is right just north of the trader, too. Oh no, it's right north of Penguin's bullshit. What's that to the north of here? I'm racking in the fucking air as well. Don't step on a landmine, don't step on a landmine, don't step on a landmine. Nice. I already did. I survived. I have not, and I would really prefer not to as well. I was dead sprinting, dude. I heard. <laughs> Uh, didn't think I was that close to it, but okay. Oh, yeah. New hitboxes in seven days to die. Brought to you by Riot Games. What? Yeah, wired mouse. Wired mouse. Ugh. What's wrong with the wired mouse? Uh, my computer's not on the same desk as my mouse, so the cord drops down, and it wants to drag to the right all the fucking time. So every time I take my hand off the mouse, it gets all mm, stupid looking. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's the problem. And Jasmine fucked up my mouse pad, so one corner of it's curled back, and that fucks the cord up too. Oh yeah, that's an annoying problem too. Yeah, you really can't spill drinks on mouse pads, mouses, keyboards, and have them function. Yeah, electronics and electronic accessories. Yeah, they don't hold up well with coke. No. I can see that. Yeah, yeah, me too. So I have a new keyboard in mind. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. I went to Walmart. It was amazing. It was everything I hoped it could be. And nothing you thought it wouldn't be? No, actually, I was just thinking about, I was talking to Josh earlier, and he's sitting there like, you know, I'm like, yeah, dude, I don't really think that the COVID and the rules and all this is like, well, just don't wear your mask, bro. And I'm like, it's not that big of a fucking deal, dude. Like, literally, it's not that big of a deal to put a mask on three times in my day. I might have to go out and deal with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't wear a mask because the government told me to. I wear it because retail workers have to work with everybody, so. Give them a little peace of mind. That's okay for me. I just don't, you know, and like, honestly, I pointed this out too. As a business, they have the right to tell me you have to meet these requirements to shop here. They sure do. It's the same thing so, as uh, no shoes, no service. Yeah, I mean, you can, like, you know, I mean, I guess. Yeah, you can argue against it, like, government mandate, blah, blah, blah. It don't fucking matter. If that's what they say. That's how it goes. Oh, hello, fucking mineshaft. It's not the government, it's, you know, mine. Okay. Maybe the governor said, hey, you should do this. Well, that's like, what I mean. Like, 
the governor mandates it, but you could say, I'm resisting the government, and that's so you don't want to wear your mask, but Meyer can still tell you you can't shop here unless you have this on. Which, you should really hook up with me and give me that fucking vitamin so I can not be fatigued for another hour and a half, please. I don't know, where you are. We're close. Definitely appreciate that. Earlier, later. Oh, good. She has nothing good in you. Exactly. Um, yeah, I don't have one. Shut the fuck up. I don't know if I can run that far in an hour. This is gonna be interesting. How far are you Oh, here you go. Where are you going? Try and get my shit out of my chest. Oh. You guys, I'm gonna have to drop. I'll be on tomorrow, hopefully. Play some league. Okay, but. Okay. Roger. See ya. That's not my chest. Fuck. I gotta be honest, I have no idea what he said right there at the end. He's gotta drop. Like a deuce, or? Don't know. Could be. Not my business. <laughs> Fuck this room. <laughs> Damn it. You're in that other compound, aren't you? Yeah. Did you just get blown up? No, but I see the landmines. <laughs> Can I get far enough back to blow that bitch up? Yeah. We had to build a thing for it last time. All right, get back in my base. Okay, a half hour to build a house. Let's go. I just realized that I left all my blunderbuss ammo in the chest. Oh. And the traders open all the time. Yeah. And it makes a lot, a lot of sense. It's like, where, where is, where is Jen going? Is she going home? Yeah, she's going to sleep in the bedroom. That's not anywhere in her compound. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, there's probably bones in there somewhere, but mm, I don't think so. Not in Jen's. Penguin, when you said you were taking over the junkyard, I thought you were taking over that ramshackle compound. Which one? Son the one with the gun room you almost blew yourself up in. Oh, no. <laughs> this one with all the cars. All the cars are 2,500 hit points. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> You're taking the underground cave? I just seen you walk down there. Did you tell Bass the, what the rule was? I am taking the underground cave. What's the new rule? How the Where fuck? Oh my play. god! Right? I need a bandage, you got a bandage? In my thing, yeah. Not on me. He's in you. I see him. There, dropped him. He apparently... Right. I'm not bleeding out anymore. He just bashed his way through a fucking... Iron hatch. In, like, no seconds flat. About to make a lot of noise. Rock and I can't 
But I think we'll let him over there. Um, if we continue playing and somebody's not on out of a group of us, and it's and you're not comfortable with how your base is going into a horde night, like if you miss like three days and your base isn't up to snuff, you are allowed to jump in with somebody else's base. Say we're on like day, I don't know, 21, and you missed three days, and you didn't have your base prepared for that day. So you survive through the night. So yeah. losing all kinds of shit. Well, like, when the first time you die is about the only time you lose like Well, like me, that first night I missed that one day so I can upgrade my base. Half of my base got destroyed. It would have been like three days just to get it back to where it needed to be. Or get it even close to where it needed to be. So you just lose all that time not being able to raid, not being able to do what you need to do. Non stop just mining. <coughs> Which, yeah, I get that's part of the game, but essentially you lose, you yeah, lose so much. So it's just something that we were talking about. I think that'd be the best way to. So we can just keep playing and not have to wait for everybody. Yeah. That's always the problem when you try. Mm hmm. And now I need antibiotics. <clears throat> now I need for the stupid fuck abrasion. I gotta hit one time game. Yeah, me too. I, I got, got antibiotics. I'll show you antibiotics and a fucking vitamin I need. I got the vitamins you need. I don't, no. Oh, I got an antibiotic right here. Nice. Can't use a fucking bandage? Why? I'm confused. Should I be able to use a bandage to... No, it doesn't give health. Okay. So how do I get my stupid health back now? Eating. Food. I don't have to bandage to get my great health back and any food to fill in my health? Nope. Not anymore. Oh, okay. I wish I'd know that because I want to come in a while. I don't need more of this place. Alright, so that's day one in the books, boys. That was a little rough there at the end. Otherwise, pretty happy with the progress we made today. I'm going to uh, get this cleaned out and get the entrance obviously upgraded. We'll have to get rid of this door. But I'm pretty happy with the hatch set up. Oh, uh, probably put a frame here. Duh. I wonder if that's... No, because the hatch was destroyed. I don't know how Scomo got through the wall so fast. That was absolutely insane. But yeah, that was a uh, pretty decent first episode. We're going to keep this rolling as you just heard Penguin describing to Seabass. We do have plans in place so if we don't have everybody on we can actually keep playing. That way we can keep putting out content for you guys. So, thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Uh, any suggestions you have for games for us to play. We've got a group of 3 to 10 people. We can play a bunch of different games. And yeah, let me know what you thought about this episode. Like I said, I appreciate you stopping by. We will talk to you later.